Hello everyone, in this video I will be telling you how to make a sand mold using gated patterns. Well, first, uh, first of all, we'll talk about gated patterns. What gated pat patterns actually are? These are generally improvement over solid patterns. Suppose if we uh, required a number of jobs, number of jobs. For example, we require a hemisphere, hemisphere, uh, which I'm showing you the, with this tool, hand tool. So, if we require eight of them, so it will be very uh, it will be not economical to repeat these processes of casting again and again so what we'll do is we will introduce this getting patterns getting patterns now uh, instead of that solid pattern we'll use this get uh, get it pattern yeah it means uh, this gated patterns have uh, many advantages over solid patterns you see they will provide uh, and uh, gate cuttings in the patterns uh, they will provide the gate cuttings in the solids uh, when it will be removed so there will be no need of cutting the gates uh, from your hands so now one by one I'll telling you how to make sand mold using gated patterns now first of all what will uh, will have will have this mold board this is a mold board secondly what will we do is we'll place that get pattern uh, uh, get it pattern and drag uh, drag over this mold board let us first place drag and this way uh, in this way we'll place drag over the small board now uh, now we'll what we'll do is we'll introduce the gated patterns over this uh, mold board in which sense let me tell you so here see here i have introduced the gated patterns like uh, in go pan drag pattern i have introduced the drag pattern so now the same process will repeat will sprinkle the facing sand over it facing sand over this surface and after that we will fill this uh, fill this with the help of molding sand uh, to certain level and uh, then to this level we will filling it with the backup sand to provide strength to uh, to be at the thermal stasis when we'll pour molten metal in it so uh, let me show you the view uh, after pouring sand and this so this will be the view uh, when we'll finish with sand filling now extra sand will be removed using strike off bar now what after this we'll do is we will turn over it let me show you how it will look when we'll turn it over so it will look like this See, this was the pattern get it pattern this was the sand this was the drag now when we'll remove this gated patterns it will look like this so we got the eight shapes of our job after this when we'll pour when we'll pour the metal uh, here this will flow with this gates into this into these cavities and when it will be cooled down we'll get a job so this is this is the benefit uh, of uh, using gated patterns with the solid patterns so it's ready now you can pour molten metal in these cavities so thank you